Businesses and restaurants got ready for crowds to pour into Tampa as the NCAA Women's Final Four came to town and the players fought for the trophy. Trey Luttrell, a manager at BT in the Box, says the company stocked up and prepared for the crowds. So we have a set schedule and it shows like all the events that's come up in Sparkman Wharf. So we had a little bit of preparation just telling us, hey, we're probably going to see like get more beer, get more fresh rolls and kind of like be ready for it. The women's final four took place last weekend at Amelie Arena. Boat Run restaurant manager Elena Cummings says she noticed a difference about the people that were in Tampa this past weekend. I have noticed the crowd is different. It's a lot more like basketball people, basketball fans. You see a lot more jerseys, not as many like, you know, high heels. As the final four keeps Tampa businesses on their toes, some say they haven't noticed much of a difference. Splitsville employee Annabelle Audi says things have stayed the same at her work and she hasn't noticed much of a difference. We expected it to be a little bit busier. It's not as busy as we intended. Um, maybe it's just Splitsville. I did notice people walking around the wharf, um, but around here was not as busy as intended. As the final four players and fans check out of their hotels, the crowd will die down in Tampa and businesses will resume normal hours. In Tampa, Sydney Rhodes, UTTV, Spartan News.